What's going on guys, Aaron here from Happy Hydro and this week I have an exclusive moment with the BPD thermometer gun from AC Infinity. I'm no Charlie's angel, but I'm here to tell you why if you're a serious gardener or indoor grower, you're gonna wanna get this VPD thermometer because only serious gardeners take into account VPD. So I'm gonna show you why it's important to have and how easy it is to use. Let's go check it out. Don't forget to shop at happyhydro.com for all of your indoor gardening supplies. Like this video and subscribe to our channel for more gardening and product content. Here we are, the VPD thermometer from AC Infinity. Now I am so excited to start using this and I think it's incredible that AC Infinity is constantly pumping out new stuff. You know, whether you like them or not, they're doing an incredible job innovating our growing industry. But enough about them, let's crack this bad boy open. I mean, it's not a lot to it, but it packs a punch, right? So it's just your instruction manual, the actual thermometer itself, and some Duracell batteries. You always gotta read the instructions first, right guys? It's real easy to digest. I mean, it's just uh, right now we're looking at some key features, product contents, uh, you know, quick powering up and setup, even how to use your thermometer. I mean, it's not rocket science. It's, it's a little bit of laser science, so we'll figure it out. But what the most important part is this emissivity guide, which is gonna help you hone in your thermometer. But first, let's take a look at the actual device. All right, well, let's pop it open and get these batteries in so I can see if this is packing heat or cold or whatever you measure. So as I'm putting these batteries in, I'm thinking about what I really want to accomplish with this thermometer and how I hope it helps my grow. You know, VPD is such an elusive stat sometimes that this is just gonna be a really cool and easy way to figure out how to really precisely measure that VPD. You know, cause if you, even if you're doing a good job in measuring your VPD, there's still that slight variance between your leaf's temperature and your actual environment's temperature. Well, batteries are in and everything looks good. So here's just a side by side of what the key programming buttons are versus the actual controller. So I know what I'm getting into and let's just start clicking around. So here is that setting button. Right now I'm just cycling through the different settings that you can do. This is that emissivity, emissivity, dang it all, emissivity. Woo, we got that out of the way. So here we have your general preferences, like what kind of temperature you want red, whether it's Fahrenheit or Celsius, or calibration, which is like your temperature, your humidity, and even your leaf temp offset. So we made it through a lot of the technical stuff, but now I think it's time to put it to action. My guinea pig for this test is my pink princess plant inside my 4x4 grow tent. And I've had my light on for just over an hour now to kind of get like a fun, good reading. And uh, this is how you're going to calculate your leaf temp offset to get a more precise VPD. What you're going to want to do is take a couple different readings of the canopy and then take a couple different readings of the non-canopy area, such as like your pots or your walls. And then you're going to subtract the non-plant average from your plant average, and that's how you get your leaf temperature offset. This is how you're going to precisely get the most accurate VPD. So anyway, I just started blasting. But seriously, I wanted to showcase this infrared technology and the 12 to 1 distance to spot ratio, which highlights your exact measurement. Plus, it saves the last five data points from readings. This is really going to help you track your climate conditions. Not to mention, this is gonna be an incredible asset for really dialing in my grow tent. So I already had the controller 69 up and running, you know, but this is going to make all of those calibrations a lot more exact. And with that, I'm able to dial in, you know, VPD, my temperatures, my humidities, and I'm gonna grow the best plants possible. This is one of those things that I really didn't know I needed or wanted until I was able to play around and see how accurate of a reading I could get. Well, that's it for me this time. 
And don't forget to shop for all of your indoor gardening supplies at happyhydro.com. You know, those dudes with the amazing customer service. It's so easy and it's gonna help you tune in that environment so that your plants are feeling the love and they're maximizing their grow potential. Because knowledge is power and this is just a lot of fun. So that's it for this episode. Until next time, stay happy, friends.